Here we are for week six of Mo with Mo Highlights. First matchup of the night is the Archers versus the Mambas. Ryan O'Rear versus Jordan Smith in this one. And Ryan O'Rear gives up the hit to Jordan Smith to lead off the game. And now Rory Rank at the dish is going to take the double walk. And the Archers are threatening here in the first inning. Ryan going to go ahead and get Tony Saggio to pop out off camera. James Chaney going to pop it up to Ryan O'Rear, and he is out of the jam. Bottom of the first, and Jordan Smith is going to do Jordan Smith-type things on the hill with a couple strikeouts here in the first inning. This would turn into quite a pitching duel. Here in the top of the second inning, Brian Hunter with a runner on goes down on a check swing. Tony Saggio takes the walk, and now the Archers are really threatening with one away. James Chaney goes down swinging. And Jordan Smith chases the high one, and Ryan is out of the jam. Now into the bottom of the fourth. Mama's got a runner on against Jordan, but Parker Bunch going to take a great pitch there for strike three. Heading to the top of the fifth inning. Now Cole Layton going to come in, try and finish this game off as the Mambas are saving Ryan's innings. And Cole going to lead off the inning with the double walk to Rory Rank. Now Brian Hunter with nobody on, or with nobody out, I should say, and he rips a single, and now it's first and third. James Chaney now with one out, going to go down swinging. So Cole got an opportunity to get out of the jam here. But Jordan Smith gonna do a little bit of everything with the double there, making it one to nothing, Archers. Now Rory at the dish with two outs and he's gonna take the low outside corner strike. So Cole out of the jam with just the one earned run. But Jordan Smith on the hill still gets Alex Eggert looking. James Dutton swinging two away now. Last opportunity is Cole Layton and he goes down swinging. So Jordan, Complete game shutout for the no-hitter. And they win this one 1-0 one on the back of Jordan Smith on the mound. Five innings, 13 Ks, and the RBI from Jordan Smith. Ryan O'Rear goes four innings with eight Ks. Second matchup of the night. Our second game, I should say. And this one in the first inning with one away. Parker Bunch hits a two-run home run, putting the Mambas on top. The walk's getting a little out of hand. Ryan O'Rear with two outs goes up and gets this one, making it 5 nothing Mambas. Things not looking much better here in the top of the second. Tony Saggio comes in to pitch, and Cole Layton goes deep for his first of the year, making it 6 to nothing. The pitchers outside Jordan Smith continue to struggle with walks and there's a, a hit for Alex Eggert. Later on, Parker Bunch. James can't handle it. It's eight nothing at this point. Mamba's Alex Eggert hits another ball hard and they're not gonna come up with this one either. And then Parker Bunch just continues to hit the ball hard and the Mambas continue to stack onto their lead. It's 13 to nothing at this point when Cole Layton hits his second of the game. And the Mambas just have an absolute field day here in game two. So the Mambas do take this one 16 to nothing. Cole Layton with two home runs, Ryan O'Rear with a home run, Parker Bunch with two home runs. Uh, the Archers' only hits both come from Jordan Smith. Second matchup of the night is the Pilots versus the Thunderbirds, and this is quite the pitching duel. Caleb Schweigert versus Andrew Nichols, and Caleb Schweigert continuing his great rookie campaign, getting a couple strikeouts here, but Andrew Nichols is going to match him pitch for pitch in this one. 
with a couple strikeouts here in his first inning. And Caleb Schweigert in the in the Thunderbirds half of the inning. And he continues to roll in the second as he gets a couple more strikeouts. Andrew Nichols continues to dominate as well. We end up seeing a whole boatload of strikeouts in this game as two great pitchers just go to work. In the top of the third inning, now the Thunderbirds have a little bit of a threat with a runner on second. And then a runner on second and third. Neither one phases Schweigert as he gets out of both that opportunities for the Thunderbirds. Here in the fourth inning, another opportunity with the 55 and under, and he gets out of this jam. Ice in the veins for Caleb Schweigert as he gets out of a couple jams. Nickel facing his first jam of the night. Gonna get Mark Vogler swinging. Now there's two away, and here's Caleb at the dish. Gonna get him as well. So the pitching continues to dominate. We go to a bases loaded extra inning, and Josh Richardson starts it off by grounding out to Caleb for the first out. Dustin Hitchcock goes down looking. Now there's two away. And John Willenbrink works the walk. And now the Thunderbirds have a 1-0 lead in the extra inning. Andrew Nichols going to walk as well. They have 2-0 in the extra inning. But then Caleb going to get Dalton looking for the third out. But not until the Thunderbirds score a couple runs. Now the Pilots have a chance. But Andrew is continuing to dominate here for the first strikeout of the inning. Gildenhouse goes down looking as well, and now he's one batter away from winning this pitching duel in extras, and he does it with a nice riser there, and the Thunderbirds take this one two to nothing. Both pitchers throw a no-hitter. Andrew Nichols improves to 3-0 with six innings, 18 Ks, but Schweigert six innings, 16 Ks. Second game of the night for this Thunderbirds and Pilots series. Here we are on the top of the first. And Mark Vogler leads it off. The scoreboard has not been flipped yet, but then Caleb Schweiger goes down swinging. This is all against Josh Richardson. And then Adam North goes down looking. So two away now, looking to get out of this first inning scuffle. And Jay Rich with a great pitch there to get out of the inning. All right, bottom of the first now after a couple walks with Adam North on the hill, and Dustin Hitchcock going to pick up the RBI single, making it 1-0 Thunderbirds. And then John Willenbrig departs with the three-run home run. So it's 4-0 Thunderbirds here, and they're going to bring in Gildenhouse on the hill, his first opportunity to pitch here at Mo Whiff. Getting a look here to see if they have a number two in him, and he walks his first batter, but he gets Dalton Lung to chase the pitch for the first out of the inning. Another walk puts up Jay Rich with two on, and he gets Jay Rich swinging. So Sam Gildenhouse looking to get out of his first inning of Mo Whiff, and he does just that with three strikeouts, working around a couple walks. Not too bad for the rookie. Here we go, top of the second inning. And a little pop-up here that Josh does not make the play immediately, and it's ruled no effort, so he gets the base hit. And now Sam Gildenhouse has an opportunity at the dish, and he takes this one off the wall in center field for the triple, putting the Pilots on the board. It's 4-1 to one here, two outs. Gildenhouse against Tony, and Tony shoots this one to the outfield for a routine fly ball. Still four to one, top of the third, last chance for the Pilots. And there's a great pitch there to get Mark Vogler looking. Caleb Schweigert now on the changeup, goes down looking. Two away now, Sam Gildenhaus, full count. Works the double walk. And now Eric Dotson Goes down swinging, and the Thunderbirds take this one 4-1 to one as they sweep the series of the night. Gildenhouse with the RBI, 
J Josh Richardson throws three innings, nine Ks. Adam North doesn't record an out as he's saddened with the loss. Now looking around the league for the first time. League leaders Josh Rogers on top for batting average, batting 400. Home runs led, leading the way is Sam Skibby. RBIs, Dustin Hitchcock has eight and teammate Josh Richardson with seven. On the innings side, Jordan Smith carrying the load with 21 innings pitched and rookie Caleb Schweigert right behind him with 19. On the ERA side, there was a minimum innings pitched. I think the least amount on this list was seven, but Jackson and Ryan O'Rear both have a zero ERA, where Andrew Nichols sees himself at the top of innings and on the ERA list as well. For strikeouts, Caleb Schweiger, Jordan Smith, and Andrew Nichols all right there. Now looking at the standings, the Mojo and Thunderbirds both find themselves six and one with 12 points. The Melonheads and Mambas both a three and two, um, according to the website, in second place. Uh, seven points for the Mambas, six points for the Melonheads. The Archers do have more points, but were considered more games back on the website, so that's just the order it ended up. But they do have seven points in third. The Bombers are one and four as they're looking to turn their slow start around. The Pilots down there at two and five, and the Empire 0 oh and five. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this week of Mo With Mo Highlights. Make sure you check back every week for the highlight videos and tune in every Friday now as the live streams have not been doing well due to internet issues at the park. So we will be recording games and then premiering them every Friday night on YouTube. So make sure you come in and watch those games. Cheer your favorite teams on in the chat section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to all of our videos. Check out our YouTube shorts. Check out us on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, as we post a lot of behind the scenes stuff there. Thank you everybody once again for tuning in to Mo Whiff. And I will catch you guys next week.